Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching today's video. It is currently 4.50 a.m. and I am headed to boot camp. My legs are a little tired. I actually ran a 5K yesterday. It was the TMC, which is Tucson Medical Center 5K, 10K. I did it with my good friend Lisa, who I hiked to Mamak a lot with, and then some of the girls from boot camp. The weather was perfect. It was a beautiful run. It's a very hilly run, but I did that yesterday. So my legs are just a little bit tired. And then we took a quick tour of the new amenity center being built in our new community. Our realtor had reached out and asked if we wanted a quick tour. So we went and did that yesterday. So I ended the day with 12,000 steps. So my legs are a little bit tired, but I'm still going to boot camp. It is all about consistency. And I definitely want to get my workout in this morning. I'm just a little tired. My legs are tired and I'm a little bit tired, but once I get my workout in, I always feel so much better. I did bring my bottle of water with me because I've still been drinking my entire bottle during my workout. It's 72 degrees right now. So like I said, the weather is definitely getting better. It doesn't get light out until about 15 minutes or so before boot camp is over and that's when the mosquitoes come out so I still have to bring my bug spray I'm really looking forward to fall like actual fall where the mosquitoes go away and boot camp is just spectacular through fall winter and spring in a couple of days from today actually the day you see this video our new house will be released to be built so that's really exciting basically what that means is that we're assigned to a superintendent and we should be hearing from him at some point within the next few weeks and all of the permits are pulled and ordered for our new house. So it sounds like we're on schedule to break ground at the very beginning of October, that second week. So between October 8th and October 11th, somewhere in there, we should be breaking ground. So I'll be filming again and you guys will get a house being built vlog probably mid-November, mid to late November. I just want to wait until I have enough content, obviously, for an entire video. But it's exciting that we're actually going to be breaking ground and we're moving in the direction of our house actually getting built. I, once it breaks ground, it's only like five months before the house is done. So that's when I'll have lots of content for you. I do have a couple errands I want to run today. It's Monday, so we may get some packages. We'll just kind of see where the day takes us. I did drink about half of my protein coffee this morning before I left for boot camp. I'll finish that up when I get home. We'll have a healthy breakfast and we will start our day. I'm home. I am ready for the day. My shorts are from Amazon. My top, I believe, is from... Timu. I will try to link everything down below for you for my little outfit of the day. I even threw on some fall earrings. I got these on Timu last year. If you didn't notice, I got my hair done. I got my hair dyed a little bit darker, all one color, really needed to cover up my grays. And I'm really liking the really dark hair. This is honestly my natural hair color. If you look at my brows, they're pretty dark. So I'm loving this. I think it kind of brings my blue eyes out a little bit more. It's perfect for fall and winter. I have a little bit of work to do before we head out to run our errands, but I'm pretty hungry. So I'm ready for some breakfast. So I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich. So I'm going to be using one of the Thomas Light English muffins. These are the 100 calories. These ones actually have fiber and protein. That's why I like these. They have one gram of fat, eight grams of fiber, which is amazing, and four grams of protein. So just a better option than the traditional Thomas English muffins. I mean, I like them both, but I've been using these light just for the fiber and the protein. I'm going to do one chicken maple sausage patty one egg, and then one slice of the Sargento reduced fat pepper jack cheese. And I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich with a banana on the side. And then we will mix up our creatine, our one-up creatine into our first big cup of water for the day. And I'll be able to sip on that and take that with me when we run our errand. So let's make some breakfast. Here's my breakfast. I've got my breakfast sandwich and a banana for some good carbohydrates post my workout. This is such a great, well-balanced, protein-packed, fiber-filled, carbohydrate-filled, healthy fat-filled breakfast. I 
was just working on my computer a little bit before we head out the door to go run our errands. And I hopped onto the Motivate website because I was going to place an order and I saw that they were having an amazing special that I wanted to tell you about with Burn. Now you guys know I've been using Burn for so long. It's one of my very favorite products from Motivate. It's the first product that I tried that turned me onto the brand and now I just love all things Motivate. This is the newest flavor of Burn. This is the Icy Blue Raz exceptional. So, so good. This particular burn does have caffeine in it. If you are sensitive to caffeine, they do offer a stim free version, which basically means you get all of the benefits of burn without the caffeine. Some of the biggest benefits of the burn product is there's no crash and no jitters. Fat burning properties helps speed up your metabolism and tastes absolutely amazing. You just mix it in with some water. I like to throw a little ice in there. You can use this as a pre-workout, post-workout. I love it as a little bit of a mid-morning, early afternoon pick-me-up. Like I said, it tastes amazing and it really helps with fat burning and boosting your metabolism. Right now they're giving away a free five pack of the cherry lemonade burn. This is one of the most popular, if not the most popular flavor. It's absolutely amazing. And I love these little stick packs. These are great to keep in your car, your purse, your desk drawer. Love these for travel. You actually get this five pack for free. You can use the code TRYSAMPLE at checkout for the free sample pack. And then when you order anything else on the website, you can use my code here on the screen for 20% off. So you basically get to stack and double dip the discounts on Motivate. I knew I had to tell you guys about that, about this because it's amazing to get a free five stick sampler pack of Burn in the cherry, cherry lemonade flavor for free with your order. And then of course you get 20% off everything else you order on the Motivate website. So I will link Motivate down below for you with the discount, but this is an incredible deal. Definitely snag it. Get your treats. Get your treats. Why you been so bougie with your treats lately? Huh? Get it. Get it. <gasps> oh, now you eat it. Mola. What are your deal, Squirt? It's <laughs> a funny girl. So I gotta go to chemo tomorrow. So yeah, I'm almost done now. I'm almost done. So we are headed out to run a few errands together. I need to go to the post office. I have a package that I need to mail as well as my ginormous power bill. That's one of the terrible things about Arizona is in the summer, our power bill is extremely high. So I've got to mail off my power bill. I also need to wash my car. I've been going to Tucson a little bit more. So my car is pretty dirty. So I want to wash that. I think I'm going to grab a coffee at Starbucks. It just sounds really good. Getting my coffee I've been loving. I actually did a whole reel on Instagram about it. It's amazing. It's so good. It's my new favorite coffee from Starbucks. So we're going to grab that. And then I have been trying to go to Ross and TJ Maxx about once a week just to see what they have new as far as like home decor and stuff for my new house. I'm slowly buying things just so that when just so I can break the expense up of furnishing, decorating a new home up over the next few months as the home is being built. We know the aesthetic we're going for. We kind of know what we need as far as home decor goes. So I always check out Ross and TJ Maxx and basically I'm looking for a deal. If something's on sale or I can get a really good deal, then I will typically grab it there. We won't be buying our furniture or anything like that until it gets much closer to us moving. But places like TJ Maxx, Ross, you know, things that they have a big turnover. I like to check those out pretty regularly and then grab anything that I want. I also want to make a trip to at home and I would also like to go to home goods at some point. We're going to go rummage through Ross and TJ Maxx, see what they have. I did bring my creatine with me. This is the fruit punch flavor. I love it. It tastes like the Hawaiian fruit punch. It's that good. Oh my gosh. There's one of those Tesla trucks. Look at that. Those things are so weird looking. Actually, my mom's boyfriend or companion, whatever you want to call it, his son just bought one of those Tesla trucks. I just think they're weird looking. Not for me, not for me, but if you own one, more power to you, but they are definitely not my vibe. So let's get out, let's run these errands and let's go do some shopping.
I'm home. Let me show you what I grabbed at Ross and TJ Maxx. And I'm going to also show you what I painted at Pottery. I went to Pottery with some of the women in my community a couple weekends ago and painted some really cute pieces. And then I'm going to show you what we've got going on in our spare room, things that we have packed up and ready to go. So I painted this Happy Halloween pumpkin. I made this. I'm so proud of myself. You actually put a light in the bottom of this, so I'm excited to put this out when I decorate for Halloween. I have some new Halloween decor for the year. And then I also made this cactus. I painted this. It's so cute. I did gray to kind of go with the aesthetic of our new house. And here's what we have going on. This is our spare room. I'm actually going to ride my scooter later. You guys, I'm loving my electric scooter, but I've kind of got stuff stacked up. A lot of this is just empty boxes that we saved from packages that are good quality boxes, but you can see I've got some stuff ready to go packed up. We ordered some pictures for our new house, wallpaper samples. So yeah, we're just stacking everything up in our spare room. So first up from TJ Maxx are these napkins. I'm actually going to my friend Melissa's house this weekend to decoupage a bunch of stuff for the holidays. Just a little craft day. These were only $2.99 a piece and I love the little fall dogs. And then I got these cute little Halloween ones. Love. And whatever's left over, we'll just use as napkins. I did get this six piece bowl set with lids. I have a plastic bowl set that's trash that I'm going to actually bring to Goodwill before we move or just throw away, honestly. So this will be a new one for the new house. I couldn't pass this up, you guys. It's a French bulldog. And it was on clearance for $10. And it's totally our aesthetic. White with the green and then I did see this little I don't know what you call it like a little pompous grass thing I don't know I really like it it gives me kind of that modern farmhouse feel which is what we're going for and then in here are two of those jars that I showed you in the video with the wood lid I actually bought two of them and then at Ross I found this I love this it's like three quarters wood and then marble I want to use it just as a decor piece something to place on the counter and and basically use for decoration I did grab some towels some new gray hand Hand towels and gray bath towels for Troy and I for the master bath. You know, gray is our color scheme. And then I fell in love with this succulent plant. I love the kind of marbled base to this. Again, we're doing grays, neutral colors, creams, light woods, and then a pop of green. So this is going to be perfect. And then I also grabbed this kind of gray tinted jar. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I may put something in it. I may put some faux flowers in it. I don't know. We'll see, but I really liked it. And it was only $6.99. I'm going to have one of my little Knudsen cottage cheese doubles in strawberry as a little snack before lunch. I actually threw some cans of tuna fish in the fridge this morning so I can make tuna. I like my tuna salad super cold. So I threw the cans in this morning. That's what we're gonna do for lunch. This will basically be my morning snack. It's time for a special bone. It is definitely time. So right now I have the dream bones made with sweet potato because Lola can have these. They don't have tons of protein in them. Oh, special bone for you. And a special bone for you. Yeah, you go baby. So like I mentioned for lunch today, I'm going to make a tuna fish sandwich. I've been craving tuna. It is such an amazing source of protein. So like I said, I threw two cans of, or three cans of albacore tuna in the fridge this morning. So it's nice and cold. I use a light mayo, sweet relish, and then I'm going to put it on the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat multigrain bread. 90 calories per slice, and there is two grams of fiber and five grams of protein per slice. So I'm getting 10 grams of protein just from my bread, not to mention the tuna. And then as a side, I'm going to have half of a serving of these protein pretzels. These are the everything flavor. I got these at Costco. They also sell these on Nutrition. So if you don't have a membership to Costco or there's not one in your area, I will link Nutrition down below with a 10% discount. You can buy them there. And it is about 18 pretzels per serving or 28 grams. So I'm going to do 14 grams. I'll just weigh it out on my food scale. So here is my lunch. Here's my tuna fish sandwich. So I have quite a bit left over. I like to just make up a lot. That way I have it on hand for the week. And then I did one serving of the protein pretzels. So this is packed with protein, fiber, perfect lunch. 
So for an afternoon snack, I'm going to have my final protein supplement of the day. I do limit myself to two protein supplements per day. So I'm going to make a protein smoothie. So I'm going to use the Clean Simple Eats Cake Batter Protein. I love this. It is grass-fed whey protein, high-quality protein, 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. You can't beat it. That's a 20% protein to calorie ratio. How you know something is high protein is if 10% of the total calories comes from protein. So in this case, since this is 100 calories, it would need to have at least 10 grams of protein and there's 20. So high calorie, high protein food and the cake batter is so good in a smoothie. I'm going to do a cup of Fairlife milk. That'll give me another 13 grams of protein and then frozen fruit, whatever frozen fruit you want. This is blueberries, strawberries, and mangoes. One cup is 80 calories. So I'll probably do a cup. We'll just kind of see as we put the shake together and then I blend it all up and it is so delicious. It's basically like an ice cream smoothie with over 30 grams of protein. So I'm going to add eight ounces of my Fairlife milk. That's one cup. My packet or one scoop of protein powder. And then for the frozen fruit, this is 140 grams. So let me change this to grams. And I'm gonna start with half of that, which is 70 grams. And we'll just make sure we have enough frozen fruit for our ice. Okay, that's 74 grams, so I am going to do the full 140. Okay. That's what we're looking like, and we're gonna blend it up. This looks so good, it looks like a milkshake. Ooh, yeah. I always add a little whipped cream on top. I'll give my dog some whipped cream. They're patiently waiting. And there is my protein smoothie. This is really good. The fruit gives it a sweetness with the protein powder and again, packed with protein. For dinner tonight, I am making pizza, but this is fall pizza with spaghetti squash and sausage, so fall inspired pizza. Let me show you what you'll need. I'm going to be making two ingredient dough, so I have self-rising flour and non-fat Greek yogurt. You can also use regular flour, you just have to add baking soda, baking powder, so that it will rise. I just prefer to buy self-rising. You also need onion, pizza sauce of your choice, Parmesan cheese, light mozzarella cheese. I am using chicken sausage on mine, I'm doing regular sausage on Troy's, reduced sugar craisins, and butternut squash. The first thing I'm going to do is get the butternut squash in the oven, get it roasted. If your sausage is not already cooked, you'll wanna cook that as well. So I added two cups of self-rising flour to my bowl. It is a one-to-one -one ratio, but I always just add my yogurt little by little, only because I want to make sure I get the right dough consistency. And then we're just going to mix it. And like I said, we want a dough consistency. So here is my dough. I'm going to make Troy a pretty large pizza and then I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller pizza. So I'm going to roll out my portion of dough first. You can roll it as thick or as thin as you want. So I'm ready to start my pizza. I'm going to do about a third of a cup of tomato sauce. Spread that out over my dough. Not tomato sauce, I'm sorry, pizza sauce. And I sliced up that Gilbert's chicken sausage, just one link, so I'm going to add that. Some onion. I'm going to sprinkle on a quarter cup of mozzarella before I put on my squash and my cranberries. I like to layer my cheese. I just pulled my squash out of the oven. I'm going to add some pieces to the top. It's still not cooked completely through, but it'll continue to cook when my pizza cooks. I would say it's like 85, 90% cooked through. And then I'm going to add my second quarter cup of cheese, so it's a half of a cup total for the whole pizza. And then I have a tablespoon of the reduced sugar craisins. I'm going to pop that on top. And lastly, a tablespoon of Parmesan. My pizza is going in a 425 degree oven until it's cooked through. 
I just pulled my pizza out of the oven. Oh my goodness, does this look delicious. I'm going to plate this up, cut it up, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So I'm going to start with half my pizza. I still have the other half over there. I don't know that I'm going to be able to eat the whole thing, but I will put the points and stuff here on the screen for the entire pizza, and then I will pop up next to it how much I ate. If I ate the whole pizza or just half, this is a big pizza, and I wouldn't mind having it for leftovers. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to make a yogurt bowl. I actually, yesterday when I meal prepped, cooked up strawberries and blueberries on my stovetop with a little bit of allulose and just cooked it down into kind of a jam formula. I've been really like a jam consistency. I'm gonna add this to my yogurt bowl. It's so good and it's a really good way to get in fruit and fiber. So I'm actually going to use the Too Good lemon yogurt. I only have a couple of these left. These are seasonal. If I see them in the store, I grab them. It's my favorite too good flavor and it's really good with that jam that I make. And then I'm going to do a quarter cup of Catalina Crunch blueberry muffin cereal that has little dried blueberries in it. This will also give me about another seven grams of protein. Catalina Crunch, I buy on Nutrition. And again, I have a 10% discount. It'll be linked for you, but I add a quarter of a cup to my yogurt bowl. It's so good with the lemon yogurt and that fruit puree. a wrap on today's what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me doing a little shopping for the new house. Definitely check out that amazing deal with Motivate. I can't believe they're giving you that for free. That's crazy. Plus you can stack my code. So this is the time to stock up on Motivate. I'll have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all my other favorite things. My Facebook group, I have officially posted the holiday challenge. So if you're interested in joining and making it through the hardest three months of the year without gaining weight, definitely join the holiday challenge. I'll link it down below for you you, but it is part of my Facebook group. So definitely come and join us and I will see you in the next one. Bye.